It's me, Mario. Luigi, look at what happened to my ice. Do you know what happened? That is strange. No, I think we should go ask the disembodied voice. Please, disembodied voice, grant us your wisdom with our problem. Ah, oh, jeez, Mario, is the field on fire again? You know what happened last time. We want to know what happened to Mario's ice. We think it had to do with the three states of matter. The three states of matter, huh? Hmm. Alright, I can help you with that. Just be yourselves, and I'll talk along the way. Yeah. Alright, let's start with water. Look, there goes Mario going for a swim. Let's start with that. Let's say he was swimming on a cold day. A really cold day. So cold that I made the water freeze. The water froze because the water molecules started to slow down. Energy was being taken away, turning it into a solid. Now let's say it starts to get a little hotter and hotter. That, and the ice starts to melt. That's because more kinetic energy is being added back into the water molecules. Melting it. Speeding up the water molecules. Ooh, but watch, it starts to get hotter and hotter and hotter. That the water starts to dry up, turning it into steam, or gas. It's doing this because more and more energy is being added to the molecules, turning it into a gas. Oh man, but then it gets colder and colder and colder and colder. Once again, the molecules are slowing down, turning it back into a liquid. So basically, Mario, that's what happened to your ice. Considering it's hot, your ice melted into a liquid. And since it was a little hotter, it started to evaporate into a gas. That's why there's less than what you put in there. Thank you, disembodied voice. Thank you for the lesson. Yeah, just remember the lesson that I've taught you. I don't want to go over this again.